Hey what is going on guys my name is Subhajit welcome back to another android app development tutorial as you might know we shouldn't do any heavy operations on the main thread and since api 30 async task was completely deprecated so what else we can use as an alternative well in terms of executing a background task we can use executor service Executor service is a class that makes us easier to do some work on the background thread and it is quite easy to use. So first we will see how to perform a background task using the executor service. Then we will also see how to update the UI and for that we are going to use handover. So what we are waiting for, let's get started. So throughout this video we are going to fetch an image from an URL. Like we have seen in the last video that how to load images in image view with the help of glide library, right? But in this video we are going to fetch an image without using any libraries. And for that we need to perform all the network operations on a separate thread. And just because the async task has been deprecated. I hope this video will be helpful for you to execute background task. Anyway, as you can see, in this activity main.xml, we just have an image view. This is where we are going to show the image. So first and foremost, I'm going to create an instance of the executor service. So inside on create, let's type executor service. Let's call the variable service equal to executors dot new fixed thread pool now you need to specify the required number of thread let's say um, 10 that means we can execute 10 different tasks in 10 di different threads or you can simply call new single thread executor if you need only one thread now we can call executor service dot execute then new runnable hit tab perfect so inside this run method we should execute whatever heavy task we have and for that i have already created a function in this network util class called fetch image as you can see which takes a string of URL. So this open stream will fetch the image from this URL. Then this bitmap factory dot decode stream will decode the input stream. Then finally it will return a bitmap. But if this open stream is failed to fetch the image, then this fetch image function would return the null pointer exception. Just remember this. Now what I'll do is, I'll simply call networkutil.fetchImage. Now pass an URL. Mm, here you can see we have mURL which is a string type variable that contains an URL of image. So let's pass the variable mURL. Perfect. Also, it will return a bitmap as an image type. So let's also store that in a bitmap variable. Bitmap, bitmap equal to. Okay, now we need to show this bitmap in our image view. So basically there will be two ways to update the UI. You can call run on UI thread and pass new runnable hit tab here we can update our ui um, if bitmap not equal to null if it is then only we will set the bitmap image view dot set Im image bitmap and pass bitmap variable that's it another way to update the ui is First create a handler object, handler, handler equal to 
new handler. Also I specify looper dot get main looper just to reference the application's main thread. Now just below this line um, handler dot post then new runnable hit tab and semicolon here let's copy and paste so these are the two ways we can use to update our UI anyway now I'm going to build and run this project on my emulator As you can see, we have successfully fetched the image from the internet without using any third party libraries. So this is how simple it is to create a background thread and perform such network operations using executor service class. I hope you got today's topic, but if you still have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me here on the daily coding tutorial channel. And if you feel this video helped you a little bit, hit the like button, share with your friends and do subscribe for more content. Thanks again for watching guys. See you soon in the next one.